Hello, thanks for tuning in to Race Grooves. When I did my Off the Pegs video for this Soldier Fortune Black Ops, I showed all of my pickups. These are, these are not them. Uh, if you want to see that video, or rather that, this video I'm talking about, the link's in the description. I showed all, almost all these. I showed this, 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 no, this. I didn't pick this up. I already have a few. But in that video, I noticed, oh, what's this? 2016 new look for Gravedigger. Well, I didn't notice anything. Before I forget, in the comments of that video, I was asked if this is a blackout piece. And uh, last year, was this last year? Yeah, last year, uh, they had this blackout series. These were pretty hard to find. It actually says 2015 special edition. And here is that piece right here, Grave Digger 2015 Special Edition. This was the 2015 releases. They had the uh, Battle Slammers. Now we're in 2016. Uh, I don't recall, off the top of my head, I don't recall there being any blackouts for 2016. So as far as this, this is a regular release. It's just one of the regular assortments. But what is that 2016 new look? I mean, I went through the pegs. I didn't notice any. I didn't notice any, anything. Dip. Well, I went to the Monster Truck Collectors Forum. I'll give a link down below. Uh, I asked them, "What's the difference?" I didn't notice anything. By the way, this sample here, Tri-Case Tires. This is an older release. Uh, I don't remember which year this was, but this is the older Monster Jam casting. And here we have. You can see that we have the strut, stunt ramps. So what's different? You know, I'm looking and they look the same. Well, actually, this was already, this was already a new casting. Uh, it's pretty recent. Uh, I think it was mm, early 2016 early or late 2015. They changed this part right here. If you look in the back right here on the older release, you can see how the body part comes really down. It comes far down. See this rail right here? Now let me get this piece right here. This is the newer version. Look at that gap. So the uh, the newer version, the body is shorter. It doesn't extend so far. You see how this comes all the way down? It's practically to that rail. And then you come here. Look, it doesn't, it's way up there. So that's one change. But this was already a change. This is a newer casting. The other change was that the body is skinny between here and here. They've made it uh, skinnier. As a matter of fact, uh, nope, this is the uh, older version. This is the newer version. So let's go ahead and take a look at what is this 2016 new look. Because I'm looking, and there's that gap. It looks like it's our, the same one. And thankfully, I just popped in the Monster Truck Collectors Forum, and I asked, hey, what did I miss? Because I didn't notice anything different. And then I asked, uh, does it have something to do with the deco on the roof? Because I remember some conversation about it now this is the now so if you want to find the newer one you can see it has the red truck so when you're flipping through the pegs it's a lot easier to look for the blue truck and then blue ramp and then you can see the blue dot let's go ahead and open this one up this is the one that's supposedly the 2016 new look open it up there you go now put them back to back yeah, see, it's got the new body as well. You can see, you can see how much higher. It's a little hard to see. <laughs> you can see how much higher it is. Not only that, it's the new casting to where the it's wider. I said it backwards. Sorry, the the front end is actually wider than the previous release with the track ace wheels. See how the body's a lot wider. So they changed a couple things on the body, but the main thing that makes this a 2016 a new look is that they gave it a new roof decal this one right here this is the track case the older one this one that deco has been used for quite some time now they have this one on the right it's a grim reaper it's a little hard to say there's a little hard to see there's a lot going on in that artwork but you can see the grim reaper his head's right here in the center and then he has a sickle on that side mm, that's not a shovel on the other side but that's the, uh, that's the new artwork, the 2016 new look for Gravedigger. If you're a Gravedigger fan, they always give you a lot of things to buy, even with the larger scale. It has the old deco on the roof. I don't know if they're going to change it to the new one with the Grim Reaper. 
But yeah, even with the larger scale, you get lots of variations of grave diggers. There you have the uh, green-bodied version, and then you have the Zamac version. Uh, yeah, <laughs> if you're a grave digger fan, it's not cheap. They got a lot of samples. Anyways, have fun with your trucks. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.